Hey guys, welcome back to Medical Blink TV. This is your channel. And uh, first of all, with this uh, medium, actually, I would like to, I mean, I, I just want to ask uh, to my subscriber or my followers to accept the apologies for the delay in my next video. Uh, I took around seven months to come back to you guys. Meanwhile, I was getting lots of emails and messages to come back. But uh, I was indulged some other issues, other issues going on. So that is the reason that um, I couldn't be able to make a, my, this video. Well, uh, now I'm coming back. I'm actually bouncing back to my channel uh, with a new logo and with a new introduction. I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed it. I mean, you guys like that logo and uh, and uh, and the introduction. Well, um, also, I mean, looking some more modification in that for further as well. So anyway, guys, uh, let's start today's video. Let me, uh, like in our previous videos, we have covered a lots of things, a lots of things in the sense we have covered all the basic things in uh, in our previous videos, like what is uh, medical billing, RCM, groceries, financial groceries. Um, some health plan, health insurances, commercial health insurance, or it's the federal health insurances, Medicare Part A, Part B, Part C, MSP. Uh, we have covered a lots of things. So I guess that uh, we have we have now a basic ground with us, so that we can head up with the now the major part, major portion. And in the major portion, we will gradually learn about uh, other kind of terms which we use, will be used in this. Uh, and the denial management and the follow-up status. Friends, uh, for the follow-up status, like it is two kind of follow-up status, like uh, it is a paid claim or it in process. So we can we cannot include it in a denial management, but it is a part of the uh, probing and all these things. When we are on a call, we can get this kind of status. So we must know that what exactly we need to ask to the rep. So that is the reason that how we will handle those kind of status. So when we are heading up to there, so I I would like to start with the paid claim. It is so easy to understand. Uh, like whenever doctor is uh, rendering the services to the patient, then uh, and if the patient is insured, then he I mean then he needs he's supposed to file a claim to the insurance company and uh, for the reimbursement. So insurance company receives the claim and then they evaluate and they, if they analyze it that they are supposed to make a payment. So in that case, that is the that is the status is a paid claim. So meanwhile, if we are following up with that status and the rep says to us that it is a paid status, so what exactly we need to ask to the rep or what exact probing we need to go for rep? So avoid uh, to make unnecessary question to the rep. Or might be she can irritate because we are asking some um, unrequired questions. So it is very important to understand that what all information we need to get it from the insurance company or representative, and what is the importance of that? Because we have to understand it as well to better understand that why we are taking the, all those information. So guys, now I guess that we are ready for that to learn a paid status. So it is a part one in which we'll just go with the basic things, what all information we required from insurance company. And in the part second part, we will understand the various kind of a paid status and what all probing we need to do for one status and what, what we will go for other status. So I hope that uh, we are ready for that and we should go for it. So let's go it and you will enjoy it. Thank you. All right, guys. So let us start. Uh, a paid status is a situation uh, whenever a provider or his billing team submits a claim to the insurance or to the respective insurance company.
Thereafter, providers billing office expects four kind of status from a filed claim. such as paid status, denied status, in process, no claim on file, um, I will just give you a glimpse about uh, these four kind of status. First status is a paid status. In a paid status, whenever insurance company is going to process a claim of a provider and they're supposed to make a payment on that claim. So that kind of claim known as a paid claim. Or if we are checking a status, so it will be the status will be known as a paid status. The next point is denied claims. It means that insurance company is going to refuse because of a number of reasons or it is not coming up as per their parameters so that they can make a payment on that claim. It could be anything. Then that will be discussed on the denial management that why insurance company is going to deny our claim. Third one is in process claim. It is a situation in which insurance company has received our claim but they haven't finalized it yet. They haven't finalized it yet and I mean they are just evaluating whether they have to process a claim for the payment or they should refuse the payment or they require some medical records, authorization number. So they are evaluating it how we should process this claim. It, it, is, it hasn't been finalized yet. So they are working on that claim that situation and the fourth one is no claim on file as uh, the name suggests that there is no claim on file with insurance company it means that payer never received the claim there are various reasons for that might be that uh, the, there is a we sent the claim at a wrong address at a wrong payer id or due to some system glitch or it could be an edi rejection and uh, guys, I guess that you do, you do remember that I have already created a video for no claim and file and in process claim. So I really appreciate if you can go back and you can if you can if you do have any doubts on that process in, in that in that kind of terms, you can go and verify re verify it again in that video because in that video I have given you a detailed information about this kind of a status. So these kind of four status. Uh, Billing staff is expecting on a patient. So here, as we are discussing about the paid claim status, so let's start with paid claim status and what all information we should ask to the rep while we are on a call or what information we need to keep in in a document or in a system or in a comments while we are verifying the status with a website or IVR. With or with a wrap. The first one is allowed amount. Guys, see these kind of all terms which uh, we have already covered in glossary. So please, I really appreciate that if you go and uh, recheck there, if you not clear anything, because it is not point again and again. I have to discuss all this glossary and everything. So now here I will and I will. I'm just going up with the understanding that you have understand the terms whatever we are going to use in further communications so here the allowed amount how much where is agree or ready to pay as per their fee schedule it is important a paid amount how much insurance it, it is a I mean, it is a part of the allowed amount which insurance company is going to pay to the provider it could be equal to the allowed amount or it could not be equal to the allowed amount okay and the process date it is a date when insurance company finalize the claim or process the claim patient responsibilities like if it's a cost sharing to applying in as per the patient plan so it should be like a co-insurance co-pay deductible 
out of pocket expenses, out of network expenses, etc. I have to add the chat details as well. Chat details, uh, like uh, we have to, if it is a paper check, we have to verify whether it's a paper check or EFT, electronic fund transfer. If it is a paper check, then we will have a paper uh, check number or EFT number. Then we have to get a issue date of a check or a EFT. Then the check or EFT, when the check was issued or when the payment was transferred to the payment through electronically. Single or bulk check, whether check is a single or bulk, or whether it's a whether EFT payment is a single or bulk. If it's single check, we have to mention in our notes that it is a single check or single EFT. If it is not, then we have to mention it that it is a bulk check along with the bulk amount, a total amount. After that, I have to get the information about the if it is a paper check, I should have a check in cash date or check status, whether it has been it has been in cash or not, or whether it is still open. We have to verify the pay to address as well. Where if it is a if it is a paper check, so where a check, I mean where we, where the insurance company sent the check. So that we can evaluate whether it is at a wrong address or correct address. And in the end, we must have the claim number of a paid status. Now we are moving ahead to understand why all this information are so vital for a paid claim. Like uh, first we discussed about a large amount. Allowed amount gives us a glimpse that whether to understand that whether insurance company processing our claim as per the allowed amount or not. We can have we can verify or we can cross verify as per the fee schedule or as per our previous uh, process claim whether they are paying us as per the fee schedule or not. So that is the reason we should have uh, allowed amount mentioned in our notes evaluate whether they are paying as per the allowed amount or not paid amount paid amount is so important to evaluate whether insurance company are paying as per their allowed amount or not if they are paying paying if they are paying in full there is no issue but if they are not paying at a full of the aggregate amount then we need to know who is responsible for the remaining portion of the unpaid amount out of the allowed amount. As we believe, provider is supposed to get the entire portion of the allowed amount. So again, we have to mention the paid amount. So we, we can evaluate from the allowed amount and paid amount that whether we are getting full payment or not. A process date. It is a date when insurance company finalized the claim for the payment. Else, a date whenever when payer completes the processing formalities. It could be or it could not be same as the check or EFT issue date. It is important to analyze or identify identify it the reason in delay of a payment posting in system. Like if it is uh, paid recently within the 30 days, so we could assume that it must be in a lineup with the, our payment posting team to post the payment. But what if it is greater than 30 days? Then we have to verify it. That is the responsibility of AR people to verify it. Where is the check? If it's greater than 30 days and if they have said everything correctly, then we can go ahead and void the check. That is the reason that we should have a process date as well document in our comments. Patient responsibilities. It is a part of the allowed amount which is paid by the insurance company. As it is a part of the allowed amount, then patient is supposed to pay the remaining unpaid amount. If in case, patient is insured with other or secondary insurance, then it will be, then the, I mean, the, the, that, then 
uh, the insurance company will be responsible for the payment. Therefore, billing office must know how they process a claim to bill to the patient or to secondary insurance as a cost sharing tool. Check or AFT details. Check details required or EFT details required to trace the check or EFT payments with internal financial department or insurance company in case check issue date is greater than 30 days. That is a standard waiting period. P2 address. Address. AI needs to verify the P2 address as well. If it is a paper check to validate whether they have sent a check at a correct address or not. And the same needs to document in system as well. Claim number. It is a unique number allotted by the insurance company for internals from the internal software. So it is required tracing the claim in their system. Suppose we got a paid status and whenever we are calling up next time and we got a that state that there is no claim. So that this claim number will help to us to identify a claim in the system. So guys, in my next video, so guys, we have covered our paid status, our general paid status and what all information we require in our system or in our, in our comments. But in my next video, we'll continue what kind of, uh, what all kind of various kind of uh, paid status and what all information required if we are facing those kind of uh, situation. Like for example, like claim paid within 30 days. So in this we require some other information, but what is Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video more closely and I like, I hope that you like this video and uh, here guys, thanks very much for your love and support for this video. At the end, I will not ask you to subscribe my channel or like it or hit the bell button because that is not the motive. It's a motive to share my knowledge, whatever I know, so that um, I could help us others to if they are looking for a, a career in this industry, that is the only main motive. So thank you very much for your support and love again. Have a great day and uh, just wait. I will not let, I mean, let you wait for more for my next video, uh, which is a part two of paid status. Thank you and enjoy. Have a great day. Bye bye.